Okay, so I have hopefully got some confirmation from some friends that they're going to help me uh, put the roof on this weekend. So that's one week away. I have a lot of work to do before that. I need to actually... I still have a chimney stack here which I'm completely removing in order to replace the, the stove, the wood burner stove that's here. Um, I've removed the actual stove already but I left the chimney just because it's a big job and it protrudes through the roof so it, it makes more sense to wait until the roof roofing stage to, to remove that so that's what I need to do now. I'm going to break the top off of the off of the chimney, take that down and then I'll need to remove the actual roofing tiles that are on here so it's all asbestos I have all the kind of protective equipment and stuff like that I need to, to do it myself so I'll do that and then uh, I'll need my friends help actually picking up the new roofing and and fitting all that that's going to be a bigger job but hopefully I've sourced some help this weekend some of my friends are going to come by and help so hopefully we'll get this all done and that means I won't get rained on indoors anymore that would be a huge bonus let's see how it goes okay so at the moment this is how the this is how the chimney is it's just a piece of pipe at the top and it protrudes maybe a foot and a half something like that out of the roof so I'm just gonna break off this top part so that it actually sits flush with the with the roof here Okay, it's a little bit windy up here just now, so I'm probably not going to film much of this. I'll, uh, anyway, the, the, this is how it looks up here. So I've got to remove a few layers of bricks. That's enough for now. You can see here's part of the old chimney. All the bricks are down that side. Here is uh, Vincent lying down in the dirtiest puddle. He drinks it. Anyway, that should be enough clearance for us to, to get the new roof on. The rest of the chimney is very tempting to take it out right now, now that I've come this far, but no, it's a good it's a good level to, to kind of leave it. Okay, I'm nearly finished for the day. I just need to clean up uh, all the rubble on this side, and then the actual chimney is chimney stack is on that side. I'll clean it up. And just before I go, I've noticed a problem trying to put the ladder here. Uh, there's this tree that's gonna get in the way tomorrow of me getting all the roofing down from this side. So last thing to do is just I'm gonna cut this tree down. I'll remove it properly later but for now I'll just kind of chop it down so it's out of the way and tomorrow I'll come in and actually clear clear all the, the asbestos roofing. Take the old roof off completely tomorrow and then I'll cover it and then at the weekend Hopefully I'll get some help to, to put the new roofing on. Okay, I've got an early start this morning, got all my gear on, and I'm gonna, yeah, start pulling all this roofing off. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I noticed as I was uh, editing this video that it actually makes it look like it was very, very quick, uh, but, you know, the time lapse just takes a couple of minutes. But, uh, yeah, actually it took me, it took me about an hour, or an hour and a half, to actually pull all the roofing off, and then... In terms of tidying it up, it took it took a lot longer. Uh, I have to be kind of careful. Obviously, it's asbestos, so I think it took me three or four hours to actually uh, tidy it all up. And then I had to take it to a sort of remote area of the the property we have as well, right down the bottom, right away. At some point, I'll need to to package it all up. You have to seal it all up uh, in order to get someone to come and collect it. So I'll need to to do that at some point, but. Uh, for now it's it's safe enough just away from where anyone is going to be so it's fine for now so now that i've taken the asbestos off it's i can see a lot of places where the the roof is rotten away and it's also got all of this 
don't know if it's bark or what it is covering it so I'll just take all this off take a look at the roof see what shape it's in and I'll just replace or fix any of the, the rotten bits the, f the roof actually now that I've got everything off it doesn't look as bad as I thought it did there's a bit here at the front which was actually missing a roof panel so the rain was just getting straight onto these uh, but it's only the front three that are rotten here so I need to get rid of those and there were a lot of soft spots uh, up towards the ridge on one side so I thought it was all rotten but actually what's happened is they've done some they've done some kind of strange cutouts in the roof I guess to to accommodate this chimney and maybe there was an old chimney here I'm not exactly sure but there's definitely some cutouts there and there's one or two pieces up here that aren't actually attached but they don't seem to be rotten or anything so yeah so I'm gonna call it there tonight tomorrow I'll need to repair the roof and then on Saturday I should get help with the, the roofing panels we should get those fitted at the weekend and that'll mean by the end of this week all going well uh, I'll have a roof and I won't get rained on okay so this is about three weeks later or maybe four actually three or four weeks later the the last thing I filmed was me taking the roof off which went pretty well it was reasonably easy I'd planned to put some kind of lining paper some sheathing under the the main roof and then add the, the roof on top but I needed help to do that uh, the weather was set everything was good to go and then the weather just completely changed the forecast was completely wrong it rained for two weeks completely solid without a nice day at all so I'd taken the roof off of the workshop everything got wet inside it sat for over a week with nothing on the roof at all just getting completely soaked so I'll take you inside and show you there's not any damage as such I've cleaned this off and it's been sat open in the nicer weather for a few days so it's better than it it was it doesn't look too bad now all over the floor you can see where there's like pieces of wood lying here everything has been covered covered the workbench is pretty much okay but you can see some damp spots on it but I think it's it's gonna be okay it just needs some time to dry out there was a huge puddle forming here so it's still kind of wet here it needs some more time to dry and I'll sweep it out and leave it to dry and sweep it out I had to use uh, like sawdust to there was puddles in here it was awful but anyway so what happened was I didn't really film much of what happened next because I was so frantically trying to get the roof on that it happened very quickly so basically the roof is almost finished now in fact so it's this metal uh, metal roof and now there's still some pieces missing I still need to reinforce some bits with more screws all these trim pieces and things still need done I haven't done that so here we are it's unfortunate that I didn't film it uh, but it was just so frantic trying to we're fighting the weather the whole time and I ended up having to do a lot of it in the rain anyway then the workshop got completely ruined inside and I just left it for a while I didn't do much else but anyway we're back to it and uh, the task for today is to knock down the chimney that's in here so with the roof almost finished I mean I still have some pieces of trim to put on but I don't have them yet so I'll wait until they're picked up uh, but the next thing is I want to install a stove in here a wood burning stove so I need to take this old chimney out I knocked out the the top part just so I could get the roof on uh, but I left this all here so it's gonna be today's job let's do it And, and to be fair, like, I wouldn't watch a video 
why this just crashed like uh you know and there's no there's no zeroing in the crash because you did this or you did okay i've finally cleared everything up looks okay i still have to maybe hoover there's still some stuff but the the stove has got here i managed to pick up all the parts i need for the stove to to fit that here so i'll need to i should have done this before when i was fixing the roof but like i said everything kind of got done very quickly because of the weather and stuff so what i'll need to do is work out roughly where the the stove is going to go so i'm going to cut out a little block here maybe three three or four pieces and i'm going to put osb in here instead and that'll allow me to make a cut out in the roof the roof will still be supported. That's what I'm gonna do today. And the other thing, I didn't have enough uh, material to finish the ridge here. So I'm gonna do that and also put some trim on the edges here. At the moment, they're just bare.
So this is the corner where the stove will go. It will have its back against here more or less and the chimney straight up. That's where I reinforced the boards. You can't see that on the roof, but yeah. So it's going to go here, but the problem is this, you probably can't see it on the camera, but this wall is leaning out of the way. The top is slightly further out than the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just from here, maybe, uh, this section is just going to be a kind of artificial wall. I'll just frame it with two by fours and cover it with plywood probably. So I'm going to create the wall that's leaning the other way to kind of compensate for that. The wall will be plumb, which means that the, uh, the chimney will be plumb. And then there'll be a gap in between this, not a huge gap, maybe like an inch or two. And I'll just hide it somehow. That's the plan. I'll hide it.
I felt this in my bones uh, just intuitively when I was in, in college, even softer on intelligence in Sternberg's textbook where he talks about the, the psychological literature on creativity. And that really excited me. And I, um, and I felt like there was, uh, there was more to the story than... Okay, I think I've pretty much got the stove installed. I... It's not not perfect. I still need to seal seal this up around here. Yeah, it looks okay. So I'm gonna get it unwrapped and I'm gonna try and start a fire. And if that's it, then I'll seal everything in. And we're nearly there. Nearly there. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the renovation on hold for a while now. I don't have a lot of plans to do actual building work in here. I'm gonna insulate the roof at some point soon. It's getting kind of cold. Uh, we're also working on a house renovation at the moment as well. So I have uh, I have some leftover insulating material from there. So I can insulate the roof at some point. I will do that. I'll film it, but it's not enough to warrant its own video, I think. so. I'll probably hold off on the renovation videos for a while. I plan on uploading more of the vlog style stuff and I'll get back to the kind of small business stuff. So maybe I'll include uh, little pieces of renovation in those vlogs maybe. And then when I have enough of them I'll compile it together and do a, a part three. But yeah, there's not much that I want to do at the moment. It's, it's kind of bare on the inside but that's because I don't really know what I need yet. I'm starting to get orders, the business is up and running, that's all going kind of well, so I want to just live with this for a while and see what I'm missing, what I could do with. I have no idea, I haven't really thought about storage and stuff yet, so I just want to work that all out as I go. So there won't be a lot of renovation stuff right now. So I'm, I'm sorry it's taken so long for this video to come out. Um, I planned on uploading stuff as I went, you know, while I was setting up the business, but it really started to get in the way and it was slowing me down. So I, I left my, my job to do this, you know, it's what I do full time. So I really had to get the business up and running and start getting money coming in as opposed to just, just filming it. So I wanted to focus on that first, but what I have been doing is I've been filming a lot of stuff as I go. So it's there, I just didn't have the time to actually uh, make it into videos. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff coming. I'll I'll do the vlogs which I've been enjoying. They're quick quick to film and Also, I have some bigger ideas for kind of collaborating with other people and uh, Stuff as well, so I won't talk too much about that just now But anyway, I'm really enjoying filming stuff and uploading this so I don't know how many times I've said this now But I'm gonna be uploading more consistently now uh, now that I've got orders coming in, I've got money coming in, the business is at least kind of trundling along now. So, yeah, that's good, and I'll I'll kind of update everyone on that whole side of things as well. Anyway, for now, this will be the last renovation one for a while. Like I say, I'm not the best at filming things as I go. I, I will say during the renovation. So, if anyone has any questions about what I did or why I did it, just uh, just give a comment. I will uh, I will get back to you. Okay. Uh, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.